there we go <laughs> so hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to make a video and like seriously like I had no like I didn't know what to do like I wanted to do a look I wanted to do a smoky eye I wanted to do like purple smoky eye or blue or something you know I wanted to get creative because I feel like in my channel I don't have like a lot of um, dark makeup looks in my eyes and you know I just wanted to do something like that for you but I didn't know what to do you know I had so many things in my mind that you know when it came down to actually doing the look I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a short video and I'm gonna ask you guys what look would you want me to do next um, I have a lot of ideas like smoky eye I already did a summer look so um, if you guys want me to do like a smoky eye or like makeup for glasses since on the last video you know I was wearing my glasses because I do wear glasses on a daily basis I just take them off for the videos because the lights reflect on my own um, you know the lens so um, if you guys want me to do a smoky look or anything like that, let me know in the comments down section below and I will be more than happy to to do it. You know, just let me know anything that you want me to do. You know, either a, a smoky look, purple, smoky, green, smoky, yellow, smoky, whatever it is. Just let me know in the description down below and I will do it for you guys. Um, today, I am going to show you guys three ways to do a bun only using bobby pins and a hair tie i already have the hair tie in my um hair that's why i'm not showing it to you guys but those are the only things that you're gonna need a hair tie and four bobby pins so if you guys want to see how i get um you know these bun with only one hair tie and four bobby pins then just keep on watching okay guys so this is now how uh, my natural my natural hair is I have like more um, straight hair this is just basically um, my hair when it's like drying from whenever I get out of the shower so these but do them either uh, with dry hair or wet hair and as you guys can tell my hair is pretty short and I get it to have a lot of volume on the bun because I see a lot of girls that even though they do a bun, the bun looks super, super small. The thing that I put on my hair as soon as I get out of the shower is a leave-in conditioner. And this is the one that I use. It's the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In um, Conditioner. And it looks like this. I'm pretty sure that all of you guys I'm pretty sure that all of you guys have seen this one like at Walmart or Target now um, always when I am gonna like blow dry my hair and strain it this is the only product that I use but since today we are gonna be doing a bun I also use this um, other cream I only use this one whenever I'm doing a bun with wet hair uh, whenever you have already like dry hair or like second day hair you don't need to use this one but since my hair it's kind of uh, wet right now we are gonna use it and this one is the Garnier Fructis uh, full and plush voluptuous blowout and it just looks like this now this one it says that is blow dry body fine treatment which I don't believe it's kind of like a gel so if you guys just have like regular hair gel at home um, you can use that one as well so I'm just gonna grab a good amount here on my hand and I am just by the way guys this stuff smells really really good so I'm just gonna like rub it like you know like right here on the area where the bun's gonna sit that's why I rub it and then I just kind of like take it everywhere now the next step that we're gonna do is I'm gonna use um, these type of hair ties which they're not really hair ties they're like um, those things that you put on your head like a like a headband 
like that but I use them as um, hair tie I'm just gonna fold it in half so that we can like can get like a smaller uh, tighter hair tie and I'm just gonna use my fingers to brush my hair up so I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna do kind of like a ponytail and I'm just gonna use my fingers to brush my hair up guys I'm not using like any combs or anything like that because we want it's it's a messy bun right now we are gonna tie it and then on the last time that we're gonna tie our hair we're just gonna leave a loop like that and some hair out while the hair is like this this is the time where you have to mess it up you don't want to mess it up once your hair is already like in a bun because then you can mess it up so right now it's the time where you can just mess up your hair pull out baby hairs and stuff like that so what I do to make like the bun kind of like loose I just pull the hair tie up but only from the back I don't let any of these hairs loose I just pull it up from the back see I kind of like just push it to the front and that is going to make everything else kind of loose now you can either use like a little rat tail comb or I only use my nails and I just pull um, baby hairs from the sides from the back I think that they look really really nice when you just kind of like pull them out and also from like right here these baby hairs I also just you know pull them out now if you want your bun to look messy you can do this step on every single bun now on the top we have that loop so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like open it and you know we're just gonna open it up and once it's nice and open um, I'm gonna turn around a little bit so you guys can see see how this one is already like a fan so we're just gonna open it up until we form that bun type see now the only thing that we have to do left is put some bobby pins and I only use four I do one in the front one on the back and one on each side and there we go guys you guys can use um, a little bit of hairspray just to like tam the flyaways but yeah guys that is the first bun second way um, to do a bun like this it is going to be the same process we're just gonna grab the hair but this time we're just gonna like grab the hair with the hair tie and just grab it super super messy see how we don't have like a perfect loop or anything like that the same we're just gonna pull it upwards and we're just gonna pull out baby hairs the same way as we did with the other one now on this mess I'm just pulling the hair out just pulling it out like just you know grabbing the hair and just like pulling it out and with the bobby pins we're just going going to try to like you know fix the hairs that you know don't look kind of like in place yeah 
using, I'm only using four, and there it is. The third way and the most um, easiest way, I would say, again, we're just gonna grab a ponytail. And this one, I like it more sleek, but if you guys like it, um, you know, messy, like the other ones, you guys can make it loose and pull out the baby hairs as well. So I am just gonna do a regular ponytail and you guys can do this as higher or as lowest as you want so we're just gonna get a ponytail here and I'm just gonna start by rolling around. just kind of like keep on going just kind of like rolling it kind of like a donut once it's nice and rolled we're just gonna start by you know, putting the bobby pins. Wherever you think, you know, that they need to be placed so that the bun doesn't move. Now, if you guys wanna use more bobby pins, you know, that is totally acceptable. You don't have to use four like I do, but you know, this is basically what I do every single day for work. So that's probably why I have a lot of practice. So yeah guys, um, at the end of these buns, you can either just leave them as they are or you can spray them with a little hairspray just to, you know, just to keep away all the flyaways. Um, but yeah guys, this is basically the three ways that I do the easiest bun in the world. Uh, only using one handband and four bobby pins. That was everything for today. I really hope that you guys liked this video and that you find it helpful. Please let me know if you uh, try to do any of these easy buns. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!